Alan, this is what we're going to be installing today. This is a rain pillow. It's going to hold water for you that you can use for irrigating your property. How much water does this store? It's going to hold 650 gallons. Now, the nice thing about this pillow is it was custom designed to fit in underneath your deck. Well, that's good because we don't ever use this. It's pretty much just wasted space. Right, and having that pillow up in this area right here makes it easy to connect to this downspout, and that's going to fill the pillow. Now, it holds 650 gallons. That's the equivalent to having 13 of these rain barrels. Wow. So that's a lot of water. Yeah, that's a lot of water. What I want you to do is get all the sticks, the stone, the mulch, everything off of this concrete surface so we can lay the bladder in here. Now I'm just going to chisel away this mound of concrete so it doesn't pierce the bottom of the pillow. To protect the bottom of the pillow, we're just going to lay down this top. How you looking down there? Good? Yeah, it looks great. Now, with the top in place, we're just going to lay the pillow right on top. Just keep it up, keep it up so we don't drag the top. That looks good. Here's how we're going to get the water into the water pillow. We're going to take the water from the downspout, and we're going to bring it over into this box. Now, this box acts as a filter also. It has a filter pad inside it to keep any debris from getting into our water pillow. This will get screwed right in place here. The water will come out this bottom fitting and into the water pillow. Roger, what's that pipe in your hand? Oh, this pipe is for the overflow. Now, if you just hold that corner of the box for me, I'm just going to screw it in place. Nice. Take those fittings off the bottom of the downspout, and then we'll put in some elbows to bring the water into the box. This is the offset that's going to get the water right into the box. All right, slide that piece of two inch PVC pipe right into the bottom of the filter box. Now my flexible pipe is going to connect right to that. Now we're just dry fitting it for now. You can see where the water is going to come all the way down the flexible pipe and into our water pillow. Roger, how come the pipe's flexible? Because when this water pillow fills with water, it's going to raise up. When it empties out, it's going to go down. So we need that flex in here. Why don't you take and glue that PVC pipe in, and I'm going to hang the flexible pipe. Hold it for a five count. One, two, three, four, five. Boy, you can count. I'm awesome. <laughs> up the connection from the flexible pipe to the top of the pillow. Now we've got all our connections made to get the water into the water pillow. Now we've got to think about getting it out. Over here we have a connection on the side of the pillow and it comes out to a ball valve so we can shut it on and off. And then it goes into this flexible pipe which brings it up into our half horsepower pump. And this pump's what's going to allow us to have water pressure. That's right. Now you look at this. This is a pretty heavy duty pump. Yep. So that's really going to push some water for us. And it's just going to plug in. We'll be good to go. Now what I want you to do is connect this hose to the top of the pump. When the pump's activated, the water's going to come through that hose all the way over here to your anti-siphoning valve, which keeps the water from siphoning out of the water pillow. Past that, it goes to a garden hose, and that's going to connect to your sprinkler. Great. To test the system, I fill the rain pillow using your garden hose. This is what it's going to look like when it's filled with rainwater. Yeah, and it's pretty full. 650 gallons full. And if you look here on the filter box, I installed an overflow pipe that runs down and daylights right there. We can just cover it up with mulch so I don't have to look at it anymore. And that black pipe over there is another overflow for the pillow itself. So now that we have this installed, how do I actually turn this thing on? Well, the good news is you don't have to crawl way underneath there to turn the pump on. All you got to do is use this little remote. That's great. Just hit it and turn that pump on, and there it goes. Roger, this is great. I can't wait to start saving some water. And it's a lot better than a rain barrel.